What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and for the second time in 2020, I am reporting on, or maybe the third time, I can't even remember, on a fellow YouTuber who um, had decided to, and in this case appears to have followed through with, um, self-deleting. This is, it's always one of those weird topics to cover because I don't really want to just be like, hey, uh, here's that 800 number, problem solved. Like I get that that doesn't work for a lot of people, um, but it can be helpful to uh, people who want to help others. I've been in situations where uh, a fellow YouTuber had reached out to me and said that they were going to uh, self-delete. And um, I called the number because I didn't know what to do. And uh, they gave me some helpful advice, which I followed, and that person is still there today. Um, don't know if their advice is why, but I know that it didn't hurt. And um, so it's it's tough. Now, uh, Apollo Legend, which is a, a, f a YouTuber who did some speed running and also was involved in kind of some, some community um, drama uh, with fellow YouTubers, in particular Dark Viper AU. I want to be very clear, in his uh, final goodbye note, he blamed Dark Viper for essentially pushing him over the edge. Um, this was in response to some uh, community uh, YouTube drama, some criticism. Uh, I don't like Dark Viper AU, AU uh, in my opinion. Uh, he is a smug uh, fart sniffing douchebag, but, um, it's not his fault. Um, to blame him for it is absurd. Uh, the same with the other content creator who had been mentioned. Um, Dark Viper has a playlist of videos in which he feuded with Apollo Legend. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six videos. But again, some of this was in response to criticisms made against Dark Viper. Others were, uh, you know, you can have uh, the classic Apollo legend is scum, parentheses, not monetized, just facts. Um, again, Dark Viper is a douche, but uh, not responsible uh, for this. And I hope people aren't, uh, I hope people aren't, you know, going after him for that. Um, there's another content creator also mentioned. This was, you know, from what I understand from context, Apollo legend was a speed runner who was criticized for some behavior within that community, including speaking out against awesome games done quick. Um, and he actually was involved in a, in a legal battle with Billy Mitchell, oddly enough, um, in terms of faking world records, in terms of Donkey Kong. Um, speed running is not something I really understand, but I know there's a community for it. Um, you know, in the, in his final letter here, he writes, thank you to dark Viper and easy scape, uh, for giving me the final push I needed. There's definitely some, uh, uh you know, he talks about, uh, he's just, his body is deteriorating, um, and, he chose to do this. Now, this may be difficult for people to hear, but in my opinion, this is one of the most ultimate selfish acts one can do. Um, that said, if you're in chronic pain or, you know, deteriorating health and you want to make a decision to go out on your own terms, I don't see any problem with that. Uh, I don't know his exact medical history, but, you know, he's scoliosis, which causes his back, hips, and shoulders to ache constantly. He's sick every day. He says he, uh, you know, his stomach hurts. Medicine makes him worse. If he doesn't take his medicine, it's worse. Um, so he talks about, you know, dealing with that. But then he goes on to talk about the speedrunning community is such hypocrites. They pretend to care so much about everyone's feelings. At the same time, they call you all sorts of terrible things. I know I expose people for cheating, but I never said anything like that. They tell me they agree with me privately and then publicly betray me. If I complained about my life all the time, I bet they'd see me as relatable. But because I try to push through and act normal, they hate me. Uh, he ends with giving thanks to 
people like Tipster and Keem for being great friends, even if I always didn't give you a reason. Now, um, you can see Keem style reporting. Over the last 12 months, other YouTubers made expose videos on him, trying to label him as horrible guy. I agree that all YouTubers deserve criticism, including Apollo, but he was a good guy. One of the claims that was made against him was that he scammed his fans and raised money for a lawsuit. That was false. Apollo refunded all the donations. And Dark Viper AU has uh, privated or unlisted all these videos. And it looks like that's the case. Now, of course, this video is getting flooded with, um, you know, uh, people roasting. Um, I don't know. Uh, you can't hold back criticism from people. Uh, simply because they may be in a, quote, bad mental place. You can't live your life like that. Um, we saw this with the YouTube community with Etika. Um, you know, I was one that early on thought he was just doing it for, for clout, um, you know, acting wild to get clicks. Well, turns out he had a legitimate mental problem, and, um, you know, that sucked. Uh, but nobody's above criticism, uh, period. Uh, and people that would tell you, uh, well, you can't just make 10 videos on somebody that's mean are the same people endlessly tweeting at people, you know, certain politicians all day. Oh, but they'll tell you that's different. It's really not. Um, in the video that I watched, um, he didn't really assign any blame. He said he didn't hold any grudges over the, uh, the content that was made about him. Um, and that does go against kind of what he said in the video description, but the whole situation sucks, uh, to his fans. Um, I'm sure he had many, he did, was not a small YouTube channel. Uh, you know, they probably are feeling grief today and it sucks because this is the time of the year when this kind of stuff seems to happen. Um, not many people are covering this. But this says YouTuber Benjamin Smith, known as Apollo Legend, was found uh, in his home by the police on December 30th. As per the viral claims being made on social media, even though there has no been no update from his family. Um, now, Smith, who is named who named fellow YouTubers Dark Viper AU an easy scape for pushing him over the edge, also recorded a video prior to doing this, even though the video was removed by YouTube as it violated terms of service as leaked on several other platforms. It's out there if you want to see it. It's really not, you know, I don't know. Um, in seven minute video, which is still available on certain uh, outlets. He spoke about his deteriorating mental health, physical condition, which led him to take the extreme step. It's crazy, man. I don't really run to record this video, but I know I have to. This is my final video. This is the end. Apollo legend says at the beginning of his video. Um, now YouTuber Keemstar said, I'm still waiting for official services. Video maker R. White Cruz, who claims to be a friend, tweeted, rest in peace. You are a good friend of many. We won't forget you. Now, the note that was left behind, again, I don't I don't think it's reasonable to, to blame. Um, now, after public backlash, Dark Viper AU posted a video titled, Why I Was Mentioned by Apollo Legend Before He Passed, where he explains his side. Um, what's interesting to me is, you know, I don't think that um, Dark Viper is responsible for this. Uh, and you have a very popular video by him Hello, made here. But ultimately, there was something here. Um, and it sucks, but it's not Dark Viper's fault. Um, ultimately, I think, you know, as he ended the video... Um, he said, you know, if you want to do anything for me, um, you know, tell somebody or you give someone a hug or tell somebody you love them or something like that. You know, I think uh, with so many people in the YouTube space, it's probably the biggest employer on the planet in terms of content creators. This type of thing is not going to stop. Um, I don't think this particular case was a, a, a case of like YouTube drama gone too far. It's same in the case of Recful. These are people that, you know, had legitimate mental health issues. And there's a lot of them on YouTube. Um, heck, it seems like most popular YouTubers have had bouts of um, 
various levels of mental health issues over the years. Uh, I myself have, have battled with it. Um, but it's important to keep a close network. It's important to, to, to check in on your friends, especially this time of year, uh, because, uh, you know, people are lonely. This is only exacerbated by the lockdowns, isolating friends and family, um, hurting people's employment. This is, again, one of, you know, a, a, a not spoken enough about byproduct of, you know, everything that's going on right now. Um, you have, you know, people's ability to earn a living disappearing, their ability to visit family and friends evaporating, isolation probably at an all time high for a lot of people right now. And I think that um, if you can think about somebody who um, might fit that description, who you haven't seen in a while, I think it's important to reach out to them. Ultimately, um, I think that this is nothing more, nothing less than just a, a terrible tragedy. Anytime somebody feels like there's no way out, um, right or wrong, uh, it sucks. So to Apollo Legends fans, uh, I'm sure that you're grieving now, which is totally normal. Um, to people out there uh, who are feeling alone and who f feel like maybe there's no way out for them. I, I implore you to take it one day at a time. Um, it's not going to get better overnight. It may not get better in a month or a week or six months, but it likely will get better. Um, find a hobby, find something that you can pour yourself into. Um, keep yourself busy, work out, play video games, whatever it is that, you know, you can, um, become passionate about, make YouTube videos, start a podcast, find something to be passionate about on top of talking to people, uh, about it and, and seeking help. Um, I, I, I don't want to make any more of these videos in 2021, but I'm certain I'll have to, and, and that sucks. So, um, you know, stay healthy out there, uh, uh, and, and keep, keep people in mind that maybe, you haven't thought about it in a little while, send them a text message. Happy New Year. Uh, write somebody an email, like a nice email. Um, call, or even better, call them on the phone. Talk to them a little bit. Visit them. Um, drop a little gift off for them. I'm sure you got something for Christmas that you didn't want that you can re-gift. Um, something like that. You know, Just let someone know you're thinking about them. Uh, and maybe that'll just be enough. You never know. Um, I appreciate all of you. Um, so very much and, uh, we'll talk to you again real soon.